Welcome to Sitam Church Online. My name is Pastor Karita Mbagara, the senior pastor at Sitam Woodley. Today, I want to read a few verses from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 33, starting with verse 1. While Jeremiah was still confined in the courtyard of the guard, the word of the Lord came to him a second time. This is what the Lord says, He who made the earth, the Lord who formed it and established it. The Lord is his name. Call to me and I will answer you and tell you great and unsearchable things you do not know. This is a powerful passage in the scripture. It says that God spoke to Jeremiah a second time. I am not sure whether God is saying he's repeating the same message or whether this is the second time God is giving a different message to Jeremiah while he's at the, at the courtyard because obviously God had spoken to Jeremiah many times. But here, the God who does not lie, the God who does not even jest, the God who does not play jokes with us, he pronounces some very critical things. He says, call to me and I will answer you. I want to tell you, my friend, if you call to God, he says he will answer. It may take a while, but God will answer. I think that should provoke faith in our hearts, that it is never useless to call upon God. We should be encouraged that our prayers have been heard, and we should wait in expectation of the answer. We should not become like those naughty boys that either ring the bell and take off. We should ring and stay and wait. Again, if it has not been answered, ring again and again and again, but remain waiting and expecting because God has said, call, I will answer. But I am even impressed by the second part of that verse 3, which says, and I will tell you great and unsearchable things that you do not know. If God is telling you things that you do not know, if God is telling you things that are unsearchable, it means it is things that you don't even pray about. You just call on God and he will bring things that you have not prayed about. That's amazing because God can never give you anything that is not good. He will not tell you things that are not good. He will tell you what is good. And you can never actually know what to pray. Isn't that exciting? Isn't that encouraging that God would give? And if they are unsearchable, it means you can't learn them. So they are mysteries. And if they are mysteries, they can only come to us through revelation. In other words, God is telling us, talk to me and I will come to you and I will give you revelation of things that you do not understand. The things that are hidden to you and to the rest of the world because you can't search them anywhere else. And when I reveal them to you, I think they will be good things. If God is going to reveal, then they are things that are awesome. And therefore, I want to encourage you. If you have given up on God, perhaps you've not been talking to him, you are angry with him, call upon him and he will show you unsearchable things such as you have not imagined would be revealed to you. Get back on your knees. Get back to the place of prayer and you will be amazed at how God will come visiting you. Thank you for listening to what I have to say. I would want you to like this page. You can also comment. You could also recommend it to a friend if you think it has value. But also you could write back to us and tell us, this is trash, we won't mind, but you can also tell us, this is great, keep it up. I am looking forward to you responding in any one of those ways or all of them and using the social media platforms that are listed here below. God bless you and thank you.